Hey, Tech Savvy Agent fans. You might remember that at the end of last year, uh, I conducted a survey and asked you guys to participate and I asked you some questions about your business and how you're following up with internet leads. Got a lot of great information and I just want to thank everybody for sharing their data with me. Uh, but I dug into it a little bit over the past couple weeks and I found some similarities in the way that people are responding to leads who gave themselves an assessment of hey, my lead response works very well. So I checked out everyone. I, I asked the question, how do you respond to internet leads? And the next question was, how effective is it? So I sorted everybody by how effective the responses were. And I really drilled down into what people were doing who deemed their response pretty good. Um, I also noticed similarities for people that, uh, that didn't have good responses and how their responses uh, panned out as well. So I wanna share this information here with you. Let's start off with the commonalities of highly, re uh, highly rated responses. And uh, most of the responses there didn't contain you know, all four of these, but it contained two or three uh, of these elements. And I'm gonna share a few with you over the next couple minutes. A sense of urgency, uh, definitely important in, in getting the person to feel like, hey, I, I need to get on this. There's a reason why I need to contact this agent. Uh, personalization was really big. They displayed some form of expertise about their market or had some type of information uh, that wasn't readily available elsewhere. Uh, and even the bad ones, all the good ones as well, always ended with a question. So that's almost, uh, that's 100% <laughs> has to be in your lead response. What doesn't work is, it was funny, just reading through the, the responses and without looking to see what the person ranked themselves or how they graded themselves, I could tell which ones were going to say, oh, it doesn't really work that well. And most of them were not personalized, as we, as we mentioned, didn't have any type of urgency to them, didn't showcase expertise. Um, so in my opinion, just judging by the data that I collected, what doesn't work is, thank you for contacting me. How may I help you with your real estate needs? What doesn't work is, thanks for your inquiry. How can I assist you? Yes, it has a question, but it's missing those three other key elements. Now let's talk about what does work a little bit, a sense of urgency. Uh, I got a lot of responses that had a great sense of urgency to them, or people that just said, I make sure I respond with a sense of urgency. They didn't exactly tell me how to do it, uh, but Lisa Archer from uh, Live Love Charlotte she provided me with a response, and this one definitely displays a sense of urgency. Thank you for contacting Live Love Charlotte. We're getting a lot of interest in that particular home. How can we help you? So what a fantastic little response. The person sitting there thinking, ooh, they're getting a lot of interest. I better hurry up and, and get a hold of Lisa and make sure I get all my questions answered. So for a sense of urgency, you can go something like that or down that road, uh, but also for showcasing expertise. A lot of people just said showcase expertise. Some people actually provided me with exactly what they do. Would you like to see a video of the, of the neighborhood? That's a great way to respond because chances are they didn't see a video of the neighborhood. Maybe they saw the photos of the property they were looking at. Maybe they saw a property video. Oh, but wait, there's a video about the neighborhood too. And that's why video is just, you know, you, you hear it from everybody online that, oh, video is this year, video, it's gonna be so big. Uh, but it, it really is for the average home shopper that's evaluating a property, if there's a neighborhood video that tells them about the neighborhood, they're gonna to wanna to see that. And guaranteed that this would get a response uh, from that person if they were if they were really interested in that home. Oh, would you like to see a, a video of the neighborhood? They're at least responding to you and you can continue the conversation. I've seen a lot of other good ones too that I don't have here on the screen. Um, I've seen little little guides that people offer where they have a complete neighborhood tour in a, in a guide, like a digital guide that they can page through uh, online. I just saw that one recently. It was a Tiger Lead customer that was using that strategy. Uh, but no matter if you're offering guides or video tours, you want to show showcase some form of expertise and have some type of information that they can't get elsewhere. Uh, so I went over two of the topics here. Stay tuned because we'll go over some of the other ones here in the future. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Steve Passanelli with Tech Savvy Agent.